Hello and welcome for the to the second game rather of the day for the group stages for the Aces Open 2012 final batter of the year live from the Cyber Arena in Kiev, Ukraine. Uh, though I, I have to say the teams are live from there. I unfortunately am not, uh, but we're still going to see a nice uh, match land event style. And that means that I don't have any delay on my stream because, you know, they can't watch it anyway. They have admins sitting right behind them, so it's all cool. It's going to be Islas taking Navi. on Navi, of course, uh, one of the fan favorites for this tournament. And it's not only Navi. I mean, a lot of people have high hopes also for Empire and Virtus Pro who are also participating in this tournament and are also in the, on the LAN finals right now. Uh, basically, all the games are uh, streamed. All the games are casted. If you want to check out who's casting what, then check out my uh, my post on my website. There are three group stage games going on at the same time constantly. And, um, well, we're constantly casting one, of course. There's going to be 15 games today. It's going to be 15 games tomorrow. So that's the two group stage days. There is going to be on a Saturday the quarterfinals and the semifinals all separately, so not overlapping. So don't worry about that. You don't have to miss anything of those. And all of those are best out of three as well. And we're going to have on Sunday the the third place decider, as well as the grand finals. So uh, that is going to be uh, what we're going to be seeing in the next com coming days. And of course also today, so right now, Navi versus Islas. After this match, it's going to be probably the match that most people are waiting for today. It's going to be Navi taking on Virtus Pro. Uh, but first, <coughs> this game. We have a Magnus Bad Rider band out Navi as well, so Jakiro and the Undying. The Bounty Hunter and the TA picked up by Navi, Navi so they have secured themselves a off lane as well as a mid lane, going very safe, as in they're kind of giving away already what they want to do, but uh, the heroes that they pick are strong enough to basically take on anybody there. And they pick up a Lashrak with that, a hero that we have seen as support for many different heroes. I'm saying something like a Chaos Knight, Sven, you know, you name it, it's there, it's possible. Uh, we have got the Darkseer and the Venomancer picked up by Islas. They they picked up the the Venomancer probably as a counter towards the Templar Assassin. If they um well already it, and uh, well they didn't want to pick up the Templar Assassin themselves because they had the chance. First pick went to Navi, but they already picked up the Venomancer. Maybe they have some pocket strategy they want to be uh, taking here. As the Darkseer, of course, a solid offlane could of course also be going on that mid lane. as uh, he is a very uh, nice counter against the Templar Assassin, but we'll see what they're going to do with that as they're going into reserve time for the first time because the rest of the bands went very, very quickly. Uh, but they're going into reserve time for uh, this last pickup. And what do they want to pick up? Do they want to pick up one of those heroes they're afraid that will be banned out next, uh, next banning phase? Or do they want to make sure that their lanes are going to be remain as much of a mystery as they can? until after the next banning phase, so that Navi might not really know what they want to be banning out. It's all possible. And we're just waiting and seeing. There are 40 seconds into their bonus t uh, time left still. I mean, they're using up everything right now. Lone Druid. And there is a Lone Druid, so that's going to be either an off lane or a safe lane. It is all possible, but they, they could have already given away here that uh, the, um, well, that that Darkseer is going to be up against Templar Assassin just became a lot more likely. Basically that. Now Vue knows that too. So we're gon not going to see them banning out uh, the mid here or something like a Queen of Pain. Could still be banned out just to be sure. But uh, for now they're going to ban out the Enigma. So don't want to be facing that one in the jungle. They themselves have of course got first pick. Um, as in after this banning phase as well. So if they want to pick up a jungle hero they can. Just not ban that hero out and hope that, of course, Islas doesn't ban it out either and they can just uh, be secure that they can pick it up. Goes for every hero, basically, though. Uh, Wisp being banned out no, here, just in case there was going to be a Chaos Knight uh, Wisp still being picked up. Of course, Chaos Knight Lashrak is very strong on the lane. And if you then have your Wisp there, too, I mean, it's still strong on the lane, but it's most strong later on, of course, when there's a relocate. But they don't want to be dealing with that. I don't blame them. It gets banned out. And Avi's turn to ban again. As, uh, well, personally, uh, well, that was not the hero that I was gonna see, I uh, was gonna expect to be man out. It's a brewmaster, actually. I mean, Eyeless, they kind of have got uh, the Lone Druid. Well, of course, they have got Lone Druid, not kind of, they just totally have him. And uh, Lone Druid is one of those heroes that is a very late game-ish. So they need something to distract the attention from Navi away from the Lone Druid to a different part of the map, different hero. Basically a mid-game hero. 
So Brewmaster, in fact, I mean, it does fit the profile. Mid-game hero, as soon as he's level 6, wants to go for those team fights, wants to lure them out. But, um, turn to pick. it's, uh... Alchemist. Well, it's an alchemist, that's not what I was expecting, but it's, uh, I mean, they need kind of a mid-game hero. Queen of Pain would be a very good one for that, but for now, we're going to have an Enchantress band out as well as a Sven, and a Shadow Demon was the last band out from that V, and they pick up an alchemist. Now, that's a hero that, I mean, he got buffed in that patch like two months ago, and he got picked up a couple of times, and... He is, he is, I mean, he's, if he gets the gold, he's the hero, of course, that can have the most gold per minute of the game. So, you know, it's not like he's bad. He's definitely not bad. But we don't see him that often anymore because he just needs a bit of time to farm. But they're feeling like they can do that. They're feeling like they can buy enough time with their other heroes that they're going to have. And secretly, I'm hoping that we're going to see a Mjolnir alchemist, but who knows? So we're waiting for Ilus to pick up the next hero, and, and now that they know that they're up against an alchemist, they might also go for something... Um, well, they already have, of course, the Lone Druid as now their semi... or their, their later game carry. Tide they need hunter. something for mid-game, especially now that there's a Tide Hunter up on Navi. So they are, like, they're definitely having a lineup that they can make sure that alchemist gets their free time to farm. And with the Chen picked up by Ilus, I mean, Chen is a nice hero to have, but he is just complimenting other heroes. He's not one of those heroes that by himself can do all this much, all that much. Wow, my English is really sucky. Ten seconds remaining. As we're waiting for the last pickup for Alice, I mean, they're only having 17 seconds left into their bonus times. Not that much. And it's going to be a Rubik. Okay, I'm fearing for Alice right now purely because of their lineup. They really have to get lucky with all that they steal. As um, my daughter just... Oh, thank you. Hello? Hello? Okay, that's better. I've got a pause of the game. But that's all fine. Uh, of course, also because we have got uh, one disconnect from uh, from Dendi, actually. So we're just having to wait until he's back. But in the meantime, I can introduce to you the hero still. It is going to be uh, Adept on Eyeless that's going to be playing the Rubik. We're going to have NVR playing the Venomancer. It's going to be Bafik on the Darkseer. Sierra Leone will be playing the Lone Druid. I hope I pronounced that properly. And Just Sandy will be playing the Chen. As uh, we were seeing more people disconnect from Navi. That's not good. Uh, I, may, I, may I just got to remind you though that it's the same heroes. Uh, so, or sorry, same computers that they had earlier. They didn't switch computers or they shouldn't have. As in, we saw just a, a game of Navi before this one also, so that was that. As we have got puppies... Okay, so people were saying... Um, puppy is picking seriously this time. Well, I think normally you would expect a horse to be playing the Alchemist, purely because, of course, he's the carry player. But nope. Puppy will be playing the Alchemist. Kind of curious to see. We have seen him playing a semi-support Brewmaster before. I'm not sure if a semi-support Alchemist will actually work. Because we have a horse playing the Lashrak. We have got Cloudy up on the Tide Hunter. Bounty Hunter will be played by Light of Heaven. By the way, Cloudy is of course Arsart. He's been going under the name of Cloudy for uh, a while now. So I'll just be calling him Cloudy, I think. Sometimes I'll still say Arsart, but... Still be uh, possible. We have, of course, got the uh, Light of Heaven, who's going to be playing that Bounty Hunter, and it will be Dendi, who will be playing the Templar Assassin. Just have to pick it up. Also, I just uh, can say that there is a no, ca no chance of stream sniping for these uh, teams, as they are in an online, uh, offline environment. They're <gasps> Look! I didn't even notice that previous game. That is just so cute. Oh my god, I need it. Okay, it walks a bit awkward. It's a Navi courier. Oh my god, it's moving. Oh my god, it's moving. Oh my god, it's moving. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, that was that. Okay, so we have got ourselves a rotation from Eyeless. And the, oh, and the rotation is to go Roshan level one. They've placed wards. They've got the uh, they've got the bear to take it up. They can do this. I don't think Navi knows that this is going on right now. At all. Nope. 
They're pl gonna just gonna place wards, gonna walk around. Thirty seconds to battle. And there are indeed the wards that right there. Dendi just walking past. But they see that, but they are not gonna do anything about it. Bear is just gonna have to place uh, themselves. We actually now have an exclamation mark. Puppy exclamation marking the Roshan pit. Oh, what a time to disconnect! But I, I know it's a LAN event and everything. I do, li I do like that Buffick just continues to all chat because that's something like if if you're now like, like super quiet, like oh I hope they don't notice, I hope they don't notice. I mean you have to put on your poker face, but Buffick just you know nothing's going on here. I'm just laying, I'm just waiting for my for my lane to start for my cur for my creeps to spawn. So I'm just gonna all chat. I'm just gonna say no Titan two because the Titan two is gone. And there's uh, there's the Titan back again. Sorry. But uh, well let's see if he's doing something, if they're doing something, because the exclamation mark from Danny was already there. Like, so they know something's up. Cloudy is Ars Art, or Smile, as he was previously known, now known as Cloudy. Come on, TA, come on, you can, they can unpause. Like they're ready. Or the no was said. Go? No. Okay. Okay guys, this is what we can do. We can run in there, I can place down an acid spray. You pick up lightning. Oh no, pick up the stun. Stun everybody. Basically. Pick a gush so we can nuke someone down. Pick up meld so we can nuke someone down. And then we snipe the Roshan. Something, maybe. Nah, they can't do that. Well, they have to need the melt damage regardless. So they still want to snipe Roshan. They they have to pick up melt, and and then they have to have the tank, and they have to have have start tanking. And he doesn't have that many uh, regens up on him. Word oh oh oh, hello. Hello, Gail. It's hello, Puppy. Welcome to the game. The Shrek son misses. Telekinesis up on Puppy. He is already still slowed by the Gale, and he will be denied. Light of Heaven. Denied. Puppy. No first blood. Roshan's still up, though. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We did what we came to do. Let's just pause. <laughs> the fuck. Oh, sorry. Uh, recently we told that cursing is unprofessional. I'll try not to do it. But that was fun. And that marks kind of the exit for Eyeless to try level 1 Roshan, because if they go again in now... I mean, probably it will be something that Navi is not expecting, right? But they're still v so very low, and the bear is actually dead, I believe. Yeah, the bear is actually dead. They can't do it without the bear, so that's basically the end of that one. There's still a self upon the lone druid. And we're probably gonna see them go to the lanes. Well, that was an interesting start of this game, as we're 11 seconds away from the game. Oh, into the game, actually. Creeps already spawned. And the rune was uh, top, I think. No. Oh, it was the invisibility rune upon, uh, upon a forest. Sorry. Missed that one almost. He just broke it to, um, to of course go for that uh, for that stun. And we're gonna see it. Then he's already back on the middle lane. Well, he never left actually. Light of Heaven. He is back on the middle lane. He's going top, of course, still has that one ward to help himself out there. He got it from a uh, force earlier. And, and it's so awkward to see a force wearing. Or wearing a uh, carrying wards because that's not something that he normally does. But they just decided to swap around. And Puffy already back towards the bottom lane. He actually, I mean, for the people that said like they're trolling, maybe they're actually gonna see Puppy be taking up the farming role. He picked up a Quelling Blade, as well as a Stout Shield and the Tangos, and he's gonna have himself a Vorse as his support. 
And of course, still our side on the tide also. I like it. It is poppy farming. And it is uh, our side that reconnects back in. Thank you. That's good. Because then we might actually have a game fairly shortly. Fairly soonish. Really great. No! Sorry. I guess I've had too much pauses already. Like, this is the second game of the day, and we've already had such a long pause in the first game. Well, it wasn't necessarily a really long pause. It was like multiple pauses chained up against each other that made it for one very long, awkward pause, in a way. Oh, for the people that are wondering, by the way, this game is visible on Indota TV. Uh, if you have the Star Ladder Season 4 ticket, you can watch these games there as well. And this is not just today, it's tomorrow, it's the grand finals, it's everything. So that ticket just got worth tons more, even though it's still the same price. It's only two euro forty or something to buy the ticket for the Star Letter Season 4. See all of Star Letter's offline finals next week. See all of Aces Open 2012 final battle of the year this week. It's a lot of batch, uh, matches, so definitely check that out. And you can listen to me inside the game client. You can listen to Villot inside the game client. All games are casted, uh, are, are are streamed there. I have to say though, not all games are casted inside the game client. But there are casters that are casting uh, the matches using Dota TV. If you want to check out those for the other games, like like I said, there's three games at the same time. If you want to check out those, then you can, and you can just uh, check out uh, my games of the day. What am I calling it again? daily match schedule post um, to see who's casting what. Uh, basically the other two stream streams that I've listed there is uh, Baskip on Twitch as well as Dota Talk. Click the Eyeless team. I can't click on anything. I can have this open though. As well as that, but you won't see that. Yeah, you can see the the team names. Of course, uh, Iolus is one of the uh, the teams here that we, uh, or personally, I'm not familiar with. But already trying a level one Roshan against Navi shows at least that they are indeed playing Russian Dota. Dota camera, camera lock. Okay, there's something wrong with the camera of. Of our sorts. Of cloudy. Of smile. Patience is a virtue. Well, you know, I was. Th there's five games, and there's actually. A s there, there was a pause built in after the third game f before we go into the next round. Um, the pause being... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So there, there would have been a pause after the game that should have ended at 3. And before the games that start at 4. But we might just use that pause. I really wish I could speak Russian right now. But well, there is of course. I mean, there is right now. There is a bug in Dota that has like, if you have, then you you if you have it, then you can't be moving your camera around on the mini map like I'm doing right now. That is very annoying for you because you're getting dizzy and everything like that. You know, there was this smooth scrolling and stuff, and I I actually activated that and I tried it out and it was nice. But I can't seem to do it inside the game. I can only do it if I'm a spectator rather than being an observer. Since everybody is checking out their consoles and stuff, I might as well do this one also. See, it's on. Smooth drag and spectate. <coughs> I want to have smooth drag everywhere. Don't 
don't know what the rest is. Oh well. Maybe I should get a new mice. Mouse. There's a more console commands. <laughs> oh, he's back. Dota camera one, edge move one. That's what it was. Oh, the pause is already there again? And VR pause. <laughs> okay. So, problems with my VR fixed? Let the problems of Eyeless commence! I was, I was uh, saying at the, at the end of the uh, previous game, like... I'm happy that the first round of games were through because that means that all the the links in the cable has been worked out and stuff like that. Um, doesn't seem to be true, unfortunately. But there we go. No, no, there we not go. Ah! The hell! I don't know what they're saying, it's so frustrating! We almost had a game of Dota. Now we have a game of pauses. Pauses all the way. The game is... Who pauses first... After someone else unpaused. Let's see who it is. Let's see. Nobody? Nobody? Oh my god, they all lost. Well, let's um, just uh, fight it out over a game of Dota, shall we? Okay, so people are going towards their lanes. Are we gonna have uh, Adapt? He is gonna be uh, playing mid on his Rubik against uh, Dendi on his Templar Assassin. So, I mean, in theory, we've seen this lineup before. In theory, nobody should be dying. If someone is dying before their level 6, it should be uh, Adapt because he doesn't have really an escape mechanism on Dendi, of course, has a refraction. But in theory, should be fine. I'm no, I know, I say in theory. I'm just gonna go over all the lanes and, and do this, checking out who is gonna do what. We already have uh, Bafik, has to be very careful. We saw this in the previous game as well, uh, at which point Light of Heaven, uh, who was playing the Dark Sea on the uh, long lane, was actually forced inside his own jungle. Uh, at some point, we're gonna still see him trying to get some harassment out of an on a force. I mean, this is interesting because we haven't normally seen a force on a support role, and he is gonna be the support here. So we do see him basically practice a bit as he still gets a stun off on the Darks here, and uh, it's actually forcing Darks to eat his second tango of the game already, and maybe even even eat his third if he doesn't get it. Uh, Puffy in the meantime just happily farming um, in the, on this lane, unless Buffick is gonna be overextending, should not be a first blood. Same thing goes of course for the top lane. Line of Heaven has the same story as Buffick on. Uh, on the bottom lane. As long as he's not overextending, he should be fine. However, if Eyeless wants to really go for that, they can place their sentry wards, etc. And they have now placed their second sentry ward of the game already, so that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Light of Heaven will be safe here for now, because sentry wards are just such a big purchase early on. 200 gold, and you don't have that straight away again, so they're just, uh, he's just going to be able Oh, look! This is the courier! It looks so cool, but I think I like the Badger more. It's such a, such a shame that the Badger normally doesn't la last more than a couple of minutes inside a game before it gets upgraded. Oh, wow. So, of course, even though he's playing a support role, he runs aggression. He is playing Russian Dota for sure. So they have also Light of Heaven even able to harass uh, the Lone Druid from the lane. I do think that Lone Druid had a different name earlier on, because I think I pronounced his name. Uh, now I cannot. It's a weasel, I'm sorry, it's not a badger, it's a weasel, my bad. It's so cute. But now it's a bird. <laughs> Is it a bird? No! Well, yes, actually. It's not a plane. Anyway, Light of Heaven is gonna steal some uh, some big creeps, see if he can do that. He's gonna be a rest, or maybe he can go invisible again. So he's just, uh, just uh, he's just fine. There is, of course, a sentry ward here, so he has to be a bit careful. Uh, but uh, since the sentry ward is not really placed that aggressively for him, he's not worried about it. And again, the same thing happened as we saw in the previous uh, game, though this time on the other team. There is, of course, a jungle hero up on Eyeless, with no real jungle hero up on Navi. Now, we know Navi 4 just still jungling regardless on what heroes they have, and we do have our stars just trying to get as many creeps in the jungle as he can. And there is actually no wards up there from Eyeless, so he's going to be fine with that. 
but it is still uh, it's, it's still a big difference, and it also will make a big difference on the pushing power from Islas. And uh, for the people that are wondering, that are joining in later, the 1-0 that we see here is not a kill. First blood has not happened yet. This was actually a deny on a puppy that was almost going down, but Light of Heaven coming in with a deny to save uh, save the well. Save basically the honor of Navi because they already got first blooded in the previous game also, and they don't want to be happy have it happen again. And it's actually it was Poppy that got first blooded in the previous game, so if he gets first blooded twice in a row, might not be ideal. Then he's gonna overextend here slightly, but might be trying to go for his first blood. A death is indeed gonna be going down there. Buffix still gonna try to do what he can, but I don't think he'll be able to do anything here as we do have Arsad helping out Gush Lance Buffix on the way out with his Iron Shield off, putting up a fraction from Nanny Fast, but it might not be enough to save his life. Self being popped, still alive for now, but he will be dropping, and Danny will be staying alive. Two kills are going the way of Danny. Double kill for him, and also, of course, that first blood money in his pocket, saving, like I said, the honor of Navi, at least. So that's gonna be, uh... That's going to be Navi in favor, and it's also, I mean, the bottom lane, they realized they couldn't do anything anymore. Force didn't find that dark seer anymore, so decided to be aggressive mid lane instead, and he actually already specced up one of us Diabolic Edict, which is not something that we see anymore lately. Uh, lately, we've seen a lot of the tracks going for that lightning storm just to have some more lane control. Um, more importantly, just to be able to stand back and do a lot of nuke damage. Oh, the tracks on it. It's Adapt is big. Go it's going to be going down. Telekinesis is still happening, but doesn't matter. And then he picks up the third kill on the it's game. All around you, but it hides from the unworthy. It hides from the unworthy. Okay. Uh, but Leon, Lone Druid, Light of Heaven. I, I was, I was telling something. Oh, wait a second, Dark Seer, in a lot of trouble there. Puppy wants to get him, doesn't have anything anymore, just has to walk and hope he gets it. Cloudy, Arsart still doesn't have anything either, so they're just gonna have to leave him alone. Radiant's with Arsart still taking a lot of damage from that tower, and the Iron Shell might actually be hurting him some as well soon, but looks like he'll be fine. And he'll be uh, urged forward by Puppy, who is just pushing him from the back. In the meantime, we have got Sandy Dyer's being chased down by, well, as well, Danny as a force to distract on his. I think a force is fine as calling. I mean, Tessa Fay still is. A force is gonna be staying alive, though. The Gale still hits on Danny as well, but it looks like he's uh, not afraid of that. He has his face boots now as well. And this is just gonna be kills all everywhere right now as the sun hits again and the kill hits again. A force still alive. Fable will still go through. We have got Adam looking for a kill. Uh, with uh, Denny actually being forced away from the tornado, but that's gonna be fine and Adept actually changing his mind and Arsad will be safe again. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, uh, of course. It's so, I mean, we are so used to seeing Arsad play that Lashrak. It is very confusing to see a force play Lashrak. Is he gonna actually be denied? Oh, he misses the sun. He has to be careful hiding himself. But no, he's gonna die! Yeah, that was Entangle still in light of heaven as well, as he's not gonna be able to get away. Trap still is, so Haste Rune, Dendi coming in, and that's gonna be the end of that. Mel damage going through. He is, of course, has a lot of armor, might be able to stay alive, but that Haste Rune will just make sure that there's not gonna be any place to hide, and it's actually Light of Heaven that picks up the kill, and is level 6 with that as well, so we will see some track kills for the next kills that go off. In the meantime, Puppy has been left alone on the bottom lane. He's just continuing his farm right there. 40 for 12. He's He's now going to be able to push up some, uh, uh, put some harassment up on the tower. Actually, also level 6. Able to uh, get some, uh, some chemical rage up. We do see uh, Buffy going towards the bottom lane again, though, as we have got a, a forest looking for a stun. He's not going to hit. Bottom tower He's having a fun attack. time, I think, playing that support role. Like normally, as I said, normally we see a force playing that the carry role, just AFK farm, while the rest of your team is doing all the fun stuff. But I think he's actually having a lot of fun here uh, with just trying to gank and roaming around the map as Light of Heaven is just going to TP out, realizing he was uh, not going to be able to get away there, otherwise getting hit by the Gale, getting slowed down, and a sentry board there as well. And another stun, and another edict, and telekinesis up on Denny, it comes to as well though, gosh hit, and that's a kill, and that's again, Denny picking up the kill, he's now 6 for 0 for 1. Uh, and he's been in all seven I kills that have happened so far on the map with Arsha just stealing that last hit from him. Oh my god, how dare is he? But with all these kills going off, I'm actually just going to switch to la to, uh, to net worth because that's going to be a bit more important here. As a force is going to come in again. And it's going to help take, take down the towers. And, and and that's what I said, I mean, normally we see the Shrek going for the lightning storm because they can then just stand back, be a bit more safe and just... Uh, do more on the lanes without putting themselves in danger and running forward with that edict. But if he's going to be playing the way that he's playing now, this uh, edict is actually going to be very handy as well. As of course taking down the towers as reward for the kills that they do. Tracks go off here on the top lane as uh, we might see Denny and Avoris rotating here together with Arsar. As the tower is getting pressured soon. 
But here comes our side already. Dendi is actually deciding to go on Adept instead. He doesn't have anything, doesn't have a blink tag. He does, of course, have a trap slowing down Adept. Double damage as well. Telekinesis is still there. Might help save him, but the face boots are there as well. And that's going to be one and two and two and a half, I guess, in a way. It means him on the top lane. Eden going off. Before trying to get himself away, the bear is not going to be fast enough to get an entangle up. Shuriken toss to hit, and the gusher, and now Lone Druid is going to be the one to go down, and now Sandy on the way out. There was a track kill, by the way. In the meantime, Dandy has managed to TP to the tier 1, gets a double hit up on MVR, and that's going to be a kill for him. Double drill, triple kill for Dandy all over the map, because he still got counted that one on Adept as well. And he is just jumping over the map, getting kills. Blink dagger now up on Dandy. As we have got Puppy. Slightly overextending, but he is fine. He can pop his chemical rage again in two seconds and we'll get his HP up then as uh, Pathfick is just going to be uh, pushing the lane back here since he can and he knows that Poppy is not there anymore. But indeed, the chemical rage up, more HP for Poppy. He'll just be able to stay around as we have got the Bacillas now up on the bounty hunter. He's got 1500 gold, he's got boots and he's got a ring of rage and he's going for a uh, Vladimir, of course, as we see Dendi with his blink dagger finding it up again. One hit, two hit. Where's the third? Come on, Dendi. No, it's gonna have four hits. That's a disappointment, but hey, he kills it anyway. Sandy now in a lot of trouble. Will be done the trap again in two seconds. No more blink though. Needs to only that trap, and the melt damage is uh, wouldn't be there if he um, if he landed that trap. So he doesn't want to go for it anymore. Gets a clarity instantly. Lands a trap just in case Sandy wants to go back. As we have Light of Heaven, uh, getting away from uh, the bears. Multiple. I consider that guy a bear as well, where he can turn into one. But he'll be fine. He'll actually try to help out Dendi getting more um, more gold for his kills, it looks like. Can, of course, get those tracks up. There goes... Uh, oh, can he kill Can he solo kill this? There goes the track. Well, no, Janelle already gone. Here comes NVR trying to help out. Dendi is not around, though. Light of Heaven will be able to get away, but he won't be able to get a kill. Uh, Light of Heaven, however, is going to be... Uh, well, no, he's fine. He's fine. Now comes Dendi with a haste rune. Looking for a kill. He doesn't see... Or he just see, of course, the track being up there. Melt damage is going to be enough. Gale still hits, but the haste rune is there as well. Track going up, and that is should be another kill. And that is a double kill again. Actually, Light of Heaven getting another kill there. Melt damage going through. Adept. Not gonna be a same alive either. That's a double kill finally, as we have got a stun from Poppy up on Bafik, and that's gonna be kill on Bafik as well. And the only one left alive is a disco. Oh, he disconnected. Is that a rage quit, or is that? Uh, oh, it's a rage quit. They're done. GG's gold. Well, don't worry. And that means <laughs> that all of a sudden we are on schedule again. <laughs> Sorry, we are, of course, uh, we, we've run very late with all these games, but the next game should, in theory, start on uh, at 2, which is, like, on schedule. But, uh, we, I think, was the pause longer than the game? Was it? I think so! It might have been! Oh my god! Well, anyway... Um, this was, of course, Navi taking on Islas for the group stages of the Aces Open 2012 final battle of the year. Dyer's we will be having to wait until Virtus Pro is done with their previous game because the next game after this one is the game that most people have been waiting for. It is going to be Navi taking on Virtus Pro for their group stages. It's going to be the last game of this group. After that, we're going to jump to Group Dyer's B where we will see Empire playing matches. So uh, that's going to be uh, that. It's also going to be on this channel. If you want to watch the Russian cast, you can check on Starlighter 1 on Twitch TV. Uh, there's also Starlighter 2, of course, for other matches. Um, there is some en English casters covering these matches from uh, the um, from the uh, from Dota TV because you can watch this game in Dota TV if you use the Dota TV Starlighter 4 ticket, Starlighter Season 4 ticket. And uh, it's going to be that the streams are Dota Talk and Basket. Um, the, the teams who are in this competition, by the way, I mean, this is just the group stages. There is Empire, Virtus Pro, Navi, there is Illuminate, we know those one too. Of course, there's a new team of art style. There's definitely some competitive teams in here. It's just this game was a bit one-sided, but uh, don't worry, there will still be good games. And we'll just win. Oh, come on. Okay, we're not going to see an end screen of this because not everybody disconnects. Thank you anyway. Uh, stick around for Virtus Pro taking on Navi. And we'll be back again uh, very soon, so uh, don't go anywhere. Just pretend the throne exploded or something like that. Oh yeah, oh, 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 and if you want to support me, my name is Shiver, I'm a Ghost of Gamers caster, subscribe to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Shiver Gaming. Thank you, there we go, now I can finally leave the game, there we go.